We're here with Nat Five, thanks to Crypto.com. We're down here at the Pirate Live Brewery, Rog, and we've got a couple of fan questions to ask the great man. Prepared for some hard-hitting questions yeah. from the Freo faithful? Absolutely, let's do it. Uh, we'll kick things off with a question sent in by Sarah. What does your ideal day off look like? Great question from Sarah yeah. to start. Well, we're here in Adelaide for 10 days and we have two days off. I like to start by getting in the water in the morning whether that's a surf or go for a swim, a bit of yoga. Then outside of that, just keep my body moving a little bit. Maybe it's a sauna, maybe go for a walk, do a bit of reading. Just take it easy pretty much because we spend a lot of time training. My day off is pretty light. Can I admit something? Hit me. About 2016, 2017, just came out of high school, just trying to find a little bit of rhythm and some habits. And I saw a video of you, I think it was Bob Murphy talking about yourself going to the ocean in the morning. Um, so I gave that a go for a week <laughs> and I couldn't hack it. I couldn't hack it. I used to live in Torquay, in Victoria, it was quite cold, not as good as Perth, but I gave it a go and um, I couldn't quite keep it up. Well, well done for doing a week. Yeah, yeah thank it's you. a good start. It's a good start. Well, it's funny you mentioned reading because he, Reg underscore S, not sure if the underscore is in his actual name, but he says, what book are you reading at the moment? Oh, Reg <laughs> underscore S. Um, <laughs> Not sure if this will be a book for Reg. The Tibetan book of living and dying is what I'm reading at the moment. It's a spiritual, spiritual classic, yes. you might have heard of it. Um, but I've also just read the Rick Rubin book too, if you haven't read that one, mm. The Creative Act. Yep. Yes. That's a, yeah, that's a rip. Was he the one that created the sandwich? The Rubin sandwich? That, it's a long way to draw. Yeah. And he, um, no, he wasn't. He's yeah. created a lot of music. Ah, yeah. oh, oh, right, right, right. You know, yeah, you're aware of I, I like to tune into podcasts with him. I'm not a reader. I like to listen. Absorb. Absorb. Nurse. A lot of people have sent in, so there's no name to this one. It's mm. multiple people. Hair routine. You probably get that a lot, but... That's is not it? a question, is it? It is. Yeah. Absolutely, it is. Oh, dear. Are we actually talking about this one? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's get to the bottom Well, of it. it's not very scientific. <laughs> I get in the water most mornings and most nights. There's salt water therapy, mm. and that's kind of as expensive Health. as it gets. That's all you volume. need. Yeah. I actually buy the salt water spray, yeah. but uh, you can get it for free. You swim in yeah. the ocean. <laughs> well, I mean, and you can keep a bit of moisture in it by sort of keep a hood on or yeah. a beanie or Love something that. like that. But it's as far as it goes. It just looks so good. Thank you. It does. Yeah, appreciate We've it. got a wild friend says, what's your pre-game pump up music? Well, I'm listening to a bit of drum and bass at the moment. Oh, yeah. Unbelievable. It's massive over in Perth. It's a big scene. Is there an artist or a song you could point us to to sort of... Uh, Some focus, maybe, okay. chasing status. Unbelievable. Mm. Beautiful, we'll get around to it. AJ Mortimer has written in and says, what's it like living with James H? Ooh, Do you live with him currently? Uh, yeah. Yeah, great. Yep, <laughs> we've lived together for a couple of years. It's a good time. We yeah. do a bit of cooking. James has been doing a few of the cooking with Track. Oh, unbelievable. Yeah, right. recipes. Um, has his own feedback for Track as well. <laughs> Any of them being particularly impressive on the palate? Oh, okay. <laughs> There's a ragu that he's done, which has been delicious. So yeah, living with James is great. We have a couple of dogs. The house is pretty light and loose, not too serious, which is good because I'm a pretty serious operator. James, not so much. <laughs> yeah, so great. we balance each other out nicely. Does Aishi go to the beach in the mornings as well? No, he doesn't. <laughs> he he um, values his shut eye. Yeah. He has other routines that he he likes to go to breakfast with the young boys a lot. Yeah. So Michael Frederick and John mm. Amos, he's spending a lot of time with those guys. The yin and the yang, you complement each other. Definitely. Uh, so on to some of the more footy sort of questions now, Nat, from the fans. Taylor Burrows, how have you dealt with the pressure every week to perform, if you even feel pressure anymore? Yes, 15 years in, you definitely still feel pressure. Um, the way to deal with pressure is to prepare. Mm -hmm. Taylor, um, anything that you want to do, if you can work back from that and work out the steps required to get you to where you want to go, to alleviate stress and anxiety and pressure, you just, every time you feel that, you dive into something that's going to help you get to where you want to go. Love that. We probably should have prepared for today. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> Roan O'Sullivan has sent in a toughest player you've ever played on. Hmm. Or well, maybe it's better, toughest player that has played on you, because I don't know if you're playing on too many players. Excuse me, yeah. <laughs> I've evolved. Well, we're in Adelaide, and this city reminds me of the Dangerfield oh, Flash. Yes. Iconic. Yes, it was. Where that wasn't really planned, but it kind of ended up that way. And once both of us got an inkling that it was happening, and it was on. So and you yeah. actually knew, like, in the game that it sort of... It 
started, well, he, I was going to someone else. He was coming to me, and then all of a sudden, I was like, all right, let's just, let's do this. And I remember one key <laughs> moment where he was seeping forward, and I was in our forward line, and I saw him through about five or six different players, and I, I just sprint, usually you're supposed to hand over, I sprinted past as many as I could to get to him to stop him. That is so good. a shot on goal. Who got the three votes? Because you both were in contention for the best on there. I can't quite, was it me? Okay. I think we, <laughs> <laughs> and we won as well. So. Yeah, beautiful. Right, we've got here Harry Dot Bender Five. Who's a player that you played with that you rate highly but didn't quite get the recognition they deserve? We're in Adelaide as well, so the name that comes to mind is Cam Sutcliffe. Ah, yes. You back pocket. Remember sort of him? Yeah, yeah, half back flank, did some tagging roles. Was a great midfielder in his own right, but we used him in other ways. Um, played in the grand final. A wonderful teammate to yeah. play alongside and just loved by all the boys. Josh still exists, has asked. <laughs> What's your favourite thing about the Fremantle Dockers? Can we just talk about his name? Yeah, yeah. We, just in case anyone was wondering. No, he does exist. Yeah. We see you, Josh, and we value you. Um, our colours. Purple. Mm. Great colour. Yeah, absolutely love it. Uh, the Tani J. If you could relive one footy moment again, what would it be? Oh, tough question. A debut? Can I say debut? Yeah, mm. you can. Family were there, just so young and naive and had no idea about anything. Still don't really, um, yeah. but that was a special moment where you kind of break through into the system. You feel like you belong, and I got to enjoy it with all the people I love. That's awesome. Mm. That is awesome. Um, Leisha writes in and says, "Would you get into coaching after retirement?" This is actually the last question as well from the fans. So, Leisha, congratulations! You've won yourself a signed Fremantle Guernsey. I, I don't think that anyone needs me to be getting into coaching. Um, I don't think it's in my skill set, but I've seen so many great players who have said, I don't want to be a coach, go and then come back. Yeah, I'm not saying that's what I am, but I don't, I don't know is the answer. I've got a lot of football knowledge now over 15 years and would feel somewhat of a waste just to never use that in some capacity, whether that's coaching or not, I'm not sure. Um, at this point, hopefully retirement's still a few years away, but it doesn't seem likely. Do you coach some of the younger boys with sort of like the mindful sort of staff? You know, I imagine that could have been <laughs> handy for the young kids I, I try to be a space where they can learn. Yeah. If they've got questions, I'll answer them um, and try and just role model as best I can. And um, hopefully a few of them along the journey have picked up a thing or two. The final one from us is how's your body feeling? We're three, four rounds in, how's it holding up? So far, going really well. As strong as I felt in three or four years, I'm able to train through the week. I pull up on Monday morning, feeling like I've got some continuity and confidence in my body again. Happy days are here to stay. Unbelievable. Nat, we really appreciate your time and um, all the best this weekend. Thanks for having me.